here on the range today with the Hellcat and as you know I had issues with my Kimber R7 Mako and I thought it was ammo related but then I shot my P365 and had no issues whatsoever, it ran. So I actually grabbed the same lot, same ammo, this Tula 9mm 115 grain and brought Chook's Hellcat out here to the range to see if this thing will run with the Tula ammo, just to kind of put that. And just for FYI, I had a viewer write in and he said, hey, I'm not surprised. You probably should have lubed it. It was 18 degrees out in the range. That's really cold. I get that. For us, it's not that cold at all. Um, it's 10 degrees and the temp's actually dropping right now today. So it's not unusual for us to shoot in single digits or below zero temps. And we've shot multiple times, right, Chuke? Yep. And had no failures in the vast majority of our firearms. So we expect our guns to be able to run in these kind of temperatures. And uh, if you get a chance, check out Chuke's Outdoor Adventures and subscribe to him. He's uh, behind the camera today. So thanks, Chuke, and loaning me the Hellcat. So let's give this a shot. And uh, I've just got 10, 11 rounds, 10 rounds in this. See if it runs the Tula. You can see there a hundred percent reliability with the Tula in the Hellcat, no problem. And as Chuke's been saying, this is still, in my opinion and in Chuke's opinion, the gold standard for micro nines. Uh, obviously, the Gen 2 trigger is better, it's been updated. That was originally the only complaint that people had on the original Hellcat was was the gen 1 trigger um it's not bad it's it's shooting better than me today um the, i think the dot is a little bit low so i had to hold high to start hitting but yeah i mean and this thing i don't even know how many rounds chuk has through it i have through it i think alaskan ballistics has shot this uh you can see some of the wear marks on the gun uh, it's just it's just had a lot of a lot of hard use and it just keeps on ticking. So that being said, I'm hoping uh, you know I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping Kimber makes it right with the Mako and it comes back and it just runs because the Mako trigger is better than the Hellcat. Uh, but in terms of size, uh, reliability, um, just everything, the stippling, I, I think this is this is still the way to go. And I'm a little bit jealous that you that he still has this thing. <laughs> and as an aside, you know if Chuke has a gun for this long, that's actually that's actually his highest, highest recommendation. That's so, saying something. That's saying something. Chuke doesn't keep things very long. Nope. Okay, so now you've seen the Hellcat run that same ammo as the SIG. No issues. For reference, I wanted to throw up this 365 footage and the Hellcat. I know that Chuk rarely, if ever, cleans the Hellcat. I rarely, if ever, clean the P365. It just runs and runs. It runs at any temperatures. So I wanted to give you that context before I updated you on the Kimber R7 Mako. So if you recall, I sent it out December 21st. I received it back January 17th. So that was a total of 26 days to turn over, not including shipping time. Kimber shipped it the 12th. So I'm calling that really good especially over the holidays and over Christmas, New Year's, you know, that's a busy time. So for them to be able to turn around that quickly is a good deal. Uh, I filmed the paper that they sent back. They said that your firearm was inspected and evaluated for the concerns. They performed the following work. They removed the firing pin, found debris in the firing pin channel, cleaned and oiled the gun, then they test fired it with five mags of Federal Premium 147 grain jacket hollow point 9 millimeter. They also inspected it by quality control and cleaned and oiled it. So there you go. I wanted to go shoot it today, but as you saw last night, we're in the middle of a windstorm. It warmed up. It's just a miserable day to be outside shooting. 
uh, especially with sound quality and driving conditions. So I'm probably gonna have to wait till next weekend to get this thing out to shoot it. But I wanna hear what you have to think about this. Uh, I know that a lot of you are gonna be saying it's my fault because I didn't inspect the firing pin. I did get comments to that effect, like did you take the slide apart and clean it? Um, no, I did not. Yes, that's my fault. Do I expect a firearm after two trips to the range and one day of carrying it to be have a firing pin that's fouled by debris and become unusable to shoot? No, I do not, absolutely do not. So now that all remains is just to get to the range and test fire, but let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious to hear your comments as to you know, what the problem was, uh, how it was rectified. Uh, customer service, I have no complaints, but as to a carry gun that's gonna be collecting dent, lint and dust and dirt and in rotation uh, day after day after day and still expected to fire, am I impressed as to that regard? No, I'm not. I had a little over 100 rounds on this gun when it started to malfunction, so. Let me know in the comments below, and I appreciate you watching and following along with this saga. And one last note, just want to make this really clear, I paid for this Kimber out of my own pocket. I pay for everything on the channel out of my own pocket. I have been recently, with uh, the number of views I've gotten from <clears throat> the pre-shot show coverage, getting some offers from different companies, and as of now I've turned them all down because I want to be able to say that I paid for everything out of pocket. I want to be able to give you the most honest review possible and not be beholden to any company and start uh, fudging in any way. I just want to be able to be as unbiased and impartial as I can and present the facts to you. Now in the future that would change, especially if an ammo company came forward, but as of now, unless I tell you explicitly. Everything that I'm reviewing on this channel has been bought and paid for with my own money. So check out Chooks Outdoor Adventures, subscribe to him. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon if you get the chance, help out with ammo costs. Thanks for joining me on the journey. Hellcat approved. LW Road, out.